the Appleton fault zone shown in black there. Um, maybe we can just rotate that a little bit and and uh, kind of get some some idea of where you know, Newfound Gold's been drilling. Much of our work uh, to date so far has been the the Keats main structure, which is in the center of the image. You know, Melissa, you you can maybe discuss our uh, current drilling strategy and basically what we're we're trying to define there. Um, looking at the Keats main zone, which is is striking uh, oblique to the, the Appleton Fault. Um, yeah, rotating the, the mall around here, you can see this is the main zone. We've been following Keats main. Um, it's a, quite a significant structure, as you're saying, turning oblique to the main uh, Appleton Fault here. It dips off to the southeast at about um, 55 degrees or so. Uh, but you can also see here there's a, a number of mineralized zones that we're hitting into the foot wall. Uh, this is also accompanied by um, veining and structure. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've been working to try to kind of map those out and um, define <clears throat> these secondary structures that seem to be quite significant. And there's a number of them and it is quite um, complex as you can see. Uh, but we're really starting to see a pattern emerge here where we do have this um, quite prominent secondary structure that's trending more or less parallel to the Keats main zone. Um, but what appears to be happening is maybe we have, you know, Riddell um, type features or linking structures that are connecting through to the two structures. We have very little drilling in this area uh, between the secondary structure we've hit and the Appleton. Continued drilling, I would say, in here is going to be quite fascinating to see if we pick up on any other probably trending structures through there. So this here, I can turn this off and we can look kind of at the distribution of grade and that plunging corridor that we've been that we've been following. But in doing so now, we really are kind of stepping out in all areas, um, looking further into the into the foot wall. Um, but also continuing to test up dip and down dip of this main dilational zone that we've been testing. Yeah, so I think over the coming months we'll be, um, you know, both focused on on the down plunge core of that that dilational structure as well as the um, essentially V that's that's formed above it uh, going going to surface, and we have uh, four four drill rigs active at the site. And so we, we can see that the, the alteration sequence in the distribution of gold is, is quite broad. Uh, we do see some strong continuity uh, within that structure. And uh, as Melissa pointed out, there's, there's a number of um, zones that exist between the, the primary Keats and the Appleton fault shown there in black. This is a structurally controlled vein system and and those structures are are really on second order structures that are typically at ob at oblique angles to the to the Appleton fault. Yeah we definitely are seeing a repeated pattern of orientations um, geometries of these mineralized structures. So when we say structures they are um, corridors that host um, uh, quartz carbonate veining uh, with um, specific ore minerals, um, alteration, and often they have, you know, a combination of, of late brittle uh, movement um, textures and, and, and fault breccias and those types of uh, geologic features or elements within them. But they, they do have a, an orientation. And as we continue to drill and expand on them, you really start seeing this network of secondary structural zones expand and link up and, you know, the complex nature of them. So stepping north from, from Keats here, uh, we have the golden, the golden joint. There, there's two clear uh, orientations on mineralization that we've been drilling and delineating. Uh, here you can see it's more of a north-south uh, orientation on the zone that's more proximal to the Appleton Falls itself. And then we have the secondary zone that we've been tracking that is in closer orientation to the Keats main zone. Uh, stepping north from there again is um, the dome uh, zone. Uh, here it's a slightly different orientation. Again, it's more uh, east-west and dipping to the south. And then here at um, Lotto, uh, we have, uh, again, more of a north-south um, striking trend to the mineralization. 
Uh, and those are the, the four key areas um, adjacent to the Appleton or within the Appleton structural corridor that we've been um, actively exploring. Yeah. And then I, th I think, again, we can kind of discuss the potential that exists between those and um, uh, certainly along strike of the, the two kilometers that, that we've been drilling to date. You know, certainly between the Golden Joint and, and Keats, there, there exists quite a broad swath of the, the Appleton Fault that's seen no drilling. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, really, really warrants some additional exploration. The Golden Joint is is uh, certainly our latest uh, discovery and a and, uh, uh, pleasant surprise for uh, the team uh, here on the ground. Certainly it's presenting some, some very high-grade mineralization, um, very similar type of mineralization to what we see at the other zones, being the, the Dome, the Lotto, and the Keats. Over the next several months, we're going to start to see that shape up and see how all this links together. As well, I, I think we can maybe look at the Lotto, where, where we've had some good success um, targeting the, the primary veins within there and some of the modeling work that's, that's ongoing there as well. Yes, uh, we are now getting enough information from uh, through drilling, uh, capturing our OTV, our oriented uh, imagery downhole, uh, where we're starting to build uh, discrete vein models uh, for each area. Because again, we're, we're mapping out kind of the mineralized uh, structural zones or fault zones, but within there, there's a network of, of veins. And uh, that's been kind of the focus of our work at the moment is making connections there and, and linking them up and um, trying to work out their geometries, uh, which is very important for us to help with exploration planning going forward and understanding the grade distribution uh, within them. Uh, so here at Lotto, for example, um, this is a preliminary grade model and it's, it's not clipped or anything. So we're actively tracking it trying to understand where it's going. Um, but we have uh, this one north-south vein that we've been testing along strike of and down dip on uh, and having uh, great success expanding on its extents. Again, it's um, another one of these kind of north-south striking veins uh, that's deeply dipping off to the east. Um, yeah, and, and and I think the other thing to point out there as well, um, just, just between... The various zones, the the dome and the golden joint and and the lotto, um, significant room to um, uh, basically try and connect those zones or or find extensions of them in between there. Yeah, this is all drilling uh, that is plotted. Uh, it's been completed to date, so you can see the amount of open space. And again, I'm just looking at this one vein. This is one vein that. Um, that we're tracking, but there's actually more additional veins within here that um, need work on connecting and, and building models around them. Uh, so as time goes on and we get more data here, um, we'll be linking those up as well. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, there's um, a lot of space. Uh, you can see here where we've done a uh, little work, but lots of, uh, lots of opportunity to grow and expand these things um, and continue to find new structures. Yeah, and, and maybe we'll touch um, very briefly. I mean, we talked about the structures that are oblique to the Appleton, but but also the uh, road zone, um, you know, located a considerable distance away from uh, the Appleton Fault, uh, has has yielded some significant mineralization, and uh, we recently released uh, a few holes out of there. Going forward, I mean, the company is planning to get back into the road zone and uh, see if we can conduct some expansion drilling. And and furthermore, there there's potential on the west side of the Appleton Fault. Um, very limited exploration on that side, and uh, the company had uh, conducted a few holes at at the little zone, intersecting some some broad intervals of, of low-grade mineralization. Um, and as significant, the, the Coke zone, which is located quite proximal to the Keat zone, but on the west side of the Appleton Falls. And, and again, we saw broad intersections of, of low-grade mineralization. Our thinking right now is that these may point us towards the higher-grade cores of, of these zones. And... Um, 
certainly they're they're presenting as as large mineralized systems eventually could present themselves as as a higher grade target. And looking here, you can see the limited amount of drilling and, and we don't actually have models around them just because we don't have enough information uh, yet at this time to really even understand um, yeah, the structural controls there or a way that the, uh, the mineralization is tracking. So uh, we definitely are planning to do some follow-up work here and uh, yeah, continue to expand on the mineralization that's been identified there. Certainly a lot of potential. <laughs>